Hello and welcome to Pineland Student Spotlight for the month of March. I'm Principal Sean Bannon. I'm here now with one of our sophomore students of the month, Jack Doyle. Jack, congratulations Thank on you very your much. time. Jack, what class have you enjoyed taking during your time at Pinelands? Uh, I'd have to say my favorite class this year is uh, AP US History with um, Mr. Sanzari. I just really like the way he teaches and I love learning about our nation's history. Excellent. Is that something that you've uh, always had an interest in? Uh, yes, starting in eighth grade with my civics teacher. That's when I really started to grasp an enjoyment with history. Oh, great. I'm glad to hear that it's continuing to grow. Are there any other teachers that made a positive impact on you during your time here? Uh, definitely Mr. Bradley with AP Macroeconomics. Um, Mr. Kirby, he's an amazing person and teacher. I really enjoy both of their classes a lot. Good. Well, I'm, I'm certainly very glad to hear you have so many teachers that are already making such a positive impact on you, and I certainly hope that continues during the rest of your time here as well. Thank you. So when you're not in class learning about you know, all these great topics that you enjoy so much, what else are you involved in? Uh, I'm in so, uh, involved with the uh, school soccer team, the track team, and uh, Wildcats in action. It certainly seems like you're keeping yourself quite busy. Yes. Is it, are one of those activities the one that you prefer more than others? Uh, soccer, definitely. What position do you play? Uh, usually mostly midfield, outside mid, so like usually right side. Good luck next year. I know you do club as well, you said, but yes. uh, I'm sure you're keeping yourself ready for the, the fall season here. Is there anybody else you'd like to thank to, for the powers, uh, of the man you are today? Uh, definitely my parents. Uh, they're always keeping up uh, and being very active in my life, and I appreciate that a lot. Understandable. I'm sure they enjoy hearing that as well. Yes. <laughs> so, Jack, I know as a sophomore, not everyone always thinks about their future, but I know you told me that you've already started thinking about what you want to do for your life after Pinelands. Yes, I definitely want to pursue a career in the military. That's always uh, interests me a lot with like family members and friends in the military. Any branch in particular? Uh, Army. Okay. Excellent. Well, certainly wish you the best of luck during the rest of your time here at Pinelands and when you end up serving our country as well. Thank you very much. Good luck to you, Jack. Congratulations. Congratulations, Jack, on Suit of the Month. Um, I can't think of a student um, more deserving. You are always on task, working hard in class. Um, you always come. Uh, with a great attitude, super respectful to everyone, and I uh, just really appreciate uh, all your time and effort that you always put in. Uh, you're a good example and uh, a good man. Thank you very much. Well deserved. I'm here now with Georgiana Gobasek. Georgiana is one of our sophomore students of the month. Congratulations on this honor. Thank you. Thank you. So are there any classes you've enjoyed taking during your time at Pinelands? Um, I've enjoyed taking my geometry class. That's one of my favorite classes. Why does that class stand out so much to you? Um, I've always been a fan of math. It's one of my like favorite, and I like it because it's a challenge. Excellent. No, I'm glad to hear that it's not just because you find it so easy that it's something that actually yeah. does challenge you. That's great. Are there any uh, teachers that have really made a positive impact on you so far? Uh, yes. Uh, Ms. Chagelski, she's very helpful, and she's always there for you, even if it's not school-related. And obviously she's your geometry teacher this yeah. year as well. So I guess that goes to why you were saying how much you enjoy that class. Yeah. So it's great that it's not just the class you enjoy it, but it's truly from the teacher itself and that relationship you built with her. Mm -hmm. So when you're not in school, what is it you enjoy doing? Um, I'm normally outside taking pictures or just enjoying the outdoors. Excellent. I know you must be really looking forward to the, the, the weather changing. It's, yes. it's been a little bit difficult necessarily to be outside and enjoy it the same mm -hmm. way. Is there anyone you want to thank for making me the young lady you are today? Um, of course, my parents and my sister, my brother, they're very helpful when it comes to school and motivating me. Understandable. It's good yeah. they always have that support system at home, and I'm sure they appreciate hearing that from you as well. Yeah. Have you started thinking about life after Pinelands? Uh, yes. I would like to go into the medical field. Certainly best of luck to you. Maybe a few more years here with us, which we're glad to see as well. Expect more good things from you along the way. Thank but best you. of luck in your future. Congratulations, Georgie. I'm so proud of you. I'm so happy that you're a student of the month. You're so deserving. Uh, I'm so proud of the student that you are in class, but also the young woman that you are becoming. Uh, congratulations. I'm so happy and so proud. All right, I'm here now with Garrett Brown. Garrett is one of our junior students of the month. Garrett, congratulations Thank to you. you. Garrett, what class have you enjoyed taking during your time at Pinelands? I like taking uh, physics or Mr. Brown. Really good teacher, enjoying class and everything. Also, I like uh, Spanish 4. 
Mr. Schelling. No, Spanish three, my bad. Maybe Spanish for next year. And uh, in sports marketing, Ms. Bennett, really good class. Why do those classes stand out so much to you? Uh, the teachers are really good at teaching and make a good impact in the classroom. Okay. So you'd say those are the three that really make the biggest impact on yeah. you and your time here as well? Mm -hmm. and, and what makes them uh, make this impact on you? Uh, they really care about my education, talk to me after school and stuff. That's excellent. I'm glad that you have such a, a strong support system during your time here. Now, I know you're also very active outside the classroom as well, right? So can you yep. tell us what activities you're involved in? Uh, I play football and basketball. I do football. I do like 7 on 7 team in the spring. I know obviously you must be looking forward to the fall again, even though yeah. most people are very happy with the spring coming, but yeah. I'm sure you're looking forward to the actual 11 on 11 starting back up mm -hmm. again. Good luck during your 7-on-7, seven seven, and I uh, look forward to seeing you on the field again in the, in the fall as well. Garrett, congratulations Thank again you. on this honor. Look forward to seeing more positive things from you in the future. Thank you. Hi, Garrett. Congratulations on being named Student of the Month. Que fantastico. I just want to say it's really a delight to have you as a student each and every day. You bring such positive energy into the classroom, so continue doing great things and enjoy this honor. I'm here now with Katie Trout. Katie is one of our junior students of the month. Katie, congratulations on this honor. Thank you. Katie, what class have you enjoyed taking here at Pinelands? Pretty much any science class because I'm more like math science person. I really like my sciences this year because I have two science classes with Mr. Wells. I have marine science and environmental science. So I have them for two periods in a row and they're pretty fun. Are you more of a uh, biological science type person? Yeah. Why do you dr get drawn towards that to more of the physical sciences? Um, I don't know. I just like learning about how certain like systems of the body or like animals, how things work, stuff like that. Are there any teachers that made a positive impact on you so far? I would say Mr. Rua. I had him last year for English and I don't know, he was just awesome. Him and I seemed to like really get along. Great. I'm glad he had such a positive impact um, on you as you said it's, it's someone that stands out with you even though you are not in his class currently. Yeah. So when you're not in classes in general, what is it you like doing? Um, I do archery at home. It's pretty fun. Um, I, f I think a lot of people would probably think it's because of the Hunger Games, but it's not. What uh, type of bow do you use? Um, I have a recurve bow, so like it doesn't have any of the special attachments like a compound bow would. Okay. But something you've been doing for a long time? Yeah, since sixth grade, I think. Excellent. <laughs> um, I'm glad it's something that, you know, you're really enjoying when you're not here. I'm sure it's probably a bit of a stress reliever as well from, from school, right? It is. Yeah, <laughs> I can see that. So um, I know you started, you told me as well that you've already started thinking about your life after Pinelands. Yeah. So can you tell us a bit what you're thinking you might do? Um, I would like to be a traveling doctor. I want to go into like war zones and help people who need like immediate medical care. Wow, that's a, a very commendable job, yeah. certainly a very dangerous field, yeah. um, but one that can really make a huge impact on lives. So I, I certainly wish you the best of luck in your pursuit of that and, and look forward to hearing those stories when you come back from your visits <laughs> as well, right? Thank you. Katie, congratulations again. Thank you. Best of luck to you. Katie Trout, first off, congrats on winning Student of the Mouth. I am so proud of you. You know, your name is symbolic because when you came over to the high school, and became a member of my sophomore English class, you were a little fish in a big pond. But since then, I have watched you troll through the hallways of this school like a shark with confidence and determination. In fact, because of your hard work, your talent when it comes to writing, and your dedication to the pillars of good character, you have spawned into a strong young woman and became a role model for your peers. So once again, congrats on receiving this prestigious honor, and I will see you around school. So I'm here now with Nick Shano. Nick is one of our senior students of the month. Nick, congratulations on this honor. Thank you. Nick, what classes have you enjoyed taking during your time at Pinelands? Uh, definitely Woodshop and Auto Tech. Uh, just like the, the hands-on feeling. You get to work on engines, uh, working with wood projects, just anything. Keep Sir, busy. one of the two you prefer, the wood over the engine? Uh, definitely wood. Definitely working like construction. I've had many jobs with construction. And it just uh, helps out for the future. No, makes a lot of sense. Sure. Right, I'm gonna Follow up on this one, even though I probably know the answer. Are there any teachers that made a positive impact on you during your time here? Uh, definitely Millar uh, and Luby, Woodshop and uh, Auto Tech. Uh, just again, life uh, examples that you get to use in the future, whether it's fixing an engine, changing an oil, uh, fixing a door, spackling, tile work, just anything basic that you get to do in the future. Uh, I'm glad that not only have they made such a positive impact on you, but you feel very confident in taking those skills forward to help you with your future as well. That's great to hear. So when you're not in your classes, 
Uh, what activities are you involved in? Uh, well, right now I'm doing track. Uh, I'm currently pole vaulting and doing 100 meter sprints. Uh, I did wrestling this past season, but uh, that's pretty much it. And which of those activities do you prefer? Uh, definitely wrestling. It's uh, the physical aspect. The uh, I guess one v one, just going head to head, <coughs> seeing who's better. Nick, is there anybody like to thank for making you the man you are today? Uh, definitely my mother. Uh, always pushed me and encouraged me, uh, never quitting. Just keep that head up and keep pushing forward. That's great to hear. And have you started thinking about life after Pinelands? Uh, definitely military. I'm thinking army. What leads you towards that branch? Uh, well, I've had many family members serve and. Uh, my grandfather was in the army. I was a Green Beret, so I think it's kind of right to do it. Just serve my country proudly and fight for those who care about me. Well, that's excellent. Sir. Nick, I want to congratulate you on this honor Thank and everything you've done during your time at Pinelands. You. And I wish you the best of luck in serving our country as well. Thank you. Congratulations again. Hey, Nick, how you doing? Congratulations on your, on your award. I'm really proud of you. Um, I've had you for three years, and uh, you've been an excellent student. You've always shown much potential. Uh, I've known your family for all three years, your mom, your sisters, your brothers. So it's, uh, I'm really proud of you, and I uh, wish you a lot of luck. You're going to be going into military, and I think you're going to be a fine soldier. Good luck. I'm here now with Beyonce Tyus. Beyonce is one of our senior students of the month. Beyonce, congratulations, too. Thank you. What classes have you enjoyed taking during your time at Pinelands? Um, I've enjoyed all my English classes and writing classes, like journalism and creative writing, all of my AP classes as well. Good, you know, because I enjoy typing and writing essays and writing stories and articles and stuff like that. Are there any particular topics you like writing about? I like writing about controversial topics in general because I just like to give my opinion on things. Understandable. We certainly <laughs> like hearing it as well. <laughs> yeah. So are there teachers that have made a positive impact on you during your time here? Um, I'd say Ms. Gleason, who was my 10th grade English teacher, because she's not only giving me advice for the future with school, she's also giving me advice for my personal life as well. Well, that's great. Yeah. I'm glad to hear you've had such a, a positive relationship with one of your teachers. Like you said, from 10th grade, you're now a senior, yeah. and you're still having that rapport with that teacher. That's fantastic to yeah. hear. So what are you involved in when you're not in classes? Um, when I'm not in classes, I'm involved in English club and Spanish club. Um, I've just gotten a job at Bed Bath & Beyond, so I'm starting that as well. Oh. Congratulations <laughs> to you. you. you know, it's, I'm sure it helped having a little more money put aside for your yeah. future too. Is there anybody you'd like to thank for helping making you um, be the person you are today? I'd like to thank my grandma. She's taken care of me for 10 years now, so she supported me through a lot. Yeah. Oh, that's excellent. I'm, I'm sure she's going to love hearing that as well. Yeah. <laughs> and have you started thinking about your life after Pinelands? Um, after Pinelands, I'm going to go to Stockton and I'm going to do general media so that I can eventually go on to journalism. That's excellent. Is there any particular journalistic field you want to study? No, just any kind is fine. I'm interested in all. I look forward to reading your articles in the future and everything else. So right. please let us know which way you end up going. All right. But well, best of luck to you. Thank and you. Enjoy the rest of your time here you at Pinelands. Congratulations, Beyonce. I'm really proud of you. Um, you make a great student of the month because you're such a hard worker and a great reader and an excellent writer. I remember when you were a sophomore, your writing is what tipped me off that you should definitely be in AP courses. I am going to miss you next year. We've really come together during lunch every day, um, and I'm going to miss that. Good luck.